Hey guys, Chris here, and as part of my playlist talking about the iPad Pro accessories and software, I thought I'd do a really, really quick review of the Samsung T5 SSD and why I think it's a great choice for using with the iPad Pro. Okay, so first things first, I just wanted to say there are lots of these small hard drives out there and I would actually personally recommend any of them. This is just my review on the Samsung T5 SSD because it's the one that I managed to get at the lowest price on Black Friday last year. And I definitely recommend holding off if you can and getting a deal on one of the Amazon days or a Black Friday because these things are not cheap, but they're brilliant. This thing's super light, super small, and really convenient. It's only 75 millimeters long, about 50 millimeters wide, and only 10 millimeters thick. And it only weighs around 51 grams, making this a really light choice for carrying around in your bag. Now, the reason these things are pricey, all of them are, that these small SSDs, the, there's the WC, the, L, the LC, and, and a few others. The reason they're so expensive is because they're so quick and so small and light. So this thing's around 540 megabytes a second. So it's great for transferring over big 4K files to the iPad Pro, as well as taking files off SSDs or um, SD cards that you've got in your cameras. You can easily switch them over, put them into the iPad Pro and then back them up on here. So it's great as a little backup device when you're out on, on shoots or anywhere. It could also be documents if they're very large files that you've got uh, for your work. Also, they're super fast because they're using the latest USB-C charger, which most devices nowadays use, including the iPad Pro, which makes it amazing that you can only carry one cable around and connect this as well. It's the iPad Pro as well as charging it or using the same cable that the iPad uses to charge itself. Okay, so I thought let's jump in and I'll show you how this thing connects to the iPad. Some of the issues I've had with it, but it's of no fault to the SSD. It's actually more the limitations of iPad OS at the moment. So let's get into it. Okay, so as I was saying, I used the iPad USB-C charger because uh, cable that came with the iPad because this is great for charging the device. It's a bit longer than the one that comes with the Samsung T5, but it works just as great for transferring files. So you plug that into the USB-C of the iPad. And then if you go down to the iPad Files app here, you'll see that on the side there's Samsung T5. And that's it can literally now go through all the files that you have here. Um, now the issues that I've found with this is the fact that if you go into the clips here, some of these clips that are really large in size don't work on the iPad. Uh, they seem to say that they're read only, which is not the greatest user experience at the moment. I'm hoping this is just a bug and it'll be fixed in the, um, the final release. But at the moment it's really annoying and I have to end up putting them on so, such as one of these down here, it's fine for me, won't play. So what I end up having to do is actually putting the T5 onto my MacBook Pro instead, opening it in there and then rendering it on Premiere Pro and then I can watch it on the iPad. Really, really annoying and I'm hoping it's just a bug that'll be fixed, but that's just the, the obvious uh, bugs and issues that I've found with using an SSD on the iPad Pro. So I hope that helps everyone. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'll be doing a lot more updates on this and hopefully maybe a couple more mice and features for the iPad Pro. But thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.